Hello, Pete. Hey, what? It's Brain. Oh, hi, Brain. What are you doing? Taking the rubbish out. Very good. So, do you know what happens to the rubbish? Um, the bin men come. And then what? They take it away? Yes. And what do they do with it? Don't know. Oh, Peter. Never mind. Shall I show you something? Do I have a choice? No. Thought not. This is a landfill, like the Dogsthorpe pit in Peterborough. And every year, thousands and thousands of tons of rubbish are dumped here. Even things that could be recycled. That's a lot of rubbish. No, Pete. I'm telling the truth. Ha 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 ha. That was a terrible joke, Brain, and that's the truth. <clears throat> anyway, back to landfill. Throwing all our rubbish into landfill isn't very good for the environment. It causes pollution in our air and our water. Pollution that affects everyone, not just us in Peterborough. Oh, like global warming? Very good, Peter. Global warming is caused by gases rising into the atmosphere. Hang on, can we just stick to landfill? Warming to your subject, eh? Quite right. We'll do global warming tomorrow. Oh, great. The problem with landfill is not just the pollution it causes, there's also a problem with space. In Peterborough, we're going to run out of space by 2012, so there'll be nowhere to dump all our rubbish. Then what are we going to do? Hang on, I thought you were going to tell me. I am, Peter. It was a rhetorical question. Well, now there is an answer. The boffins at Peterborough Energy Park have worked out a way to take all that rubbish and turn some of it into electricity, enough to power 60,000 houses and make loads of other useful things out of the rest. Oh, yeah, and pigs can fly. OK, maybe pigs can fly. And the Peterborough Energy Park really can turn all that rubbish into useful things like energy and glass bricks. Even these? Yes, Pete, even those. So, how does it work then, Brain? Ah, this is the interesting bit. No, really. When the truck arrives at the energy park, the first thing that happens is the non-biomass is separated from the biomass. Whoa, 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 Brain! Biomass? Non-biomass? Don't get too technical on me. Sorry, Pete. I didn't mean to confuse you so early in my explanation. Let me start again. Biomass is things made of organic matter, like your tea tonight. Sprouts! Yuck! White. Wood, grass, food, even sprouts. That's biomass. That's about 60% of the rubbish in your wheelie bin. So the first thing that happens is all the non-biomass is removed. Metals, glass, plastics, anything that isn't organic waste. All the biomass then goes to the combustor where it's burnt. That heats water to produce steam, which turns a turbine to produce electricity. But what about all this smoke? That's not good for the environment. It's not smoke, Pete. It's just hot air that is condensing. It's harmless. All the bad things have been taken out before it gets here. In fact, the air coming out of the energy plant is cleaner than the air going in. There's less toxins in this than in a cigarette. Uh, it's purer than the gas you produce when you... Thank you, Brain. I get the idea. So, I suppose I have to ask, how does that happen? I'm glad you did ask. As the hot gases pass through the plant, all the nasties are removed by a bunch of chemicals and filters I call the goodies. And what happens to the nasties after the goodies have done their stuff? Ah, this is the best bit. All the nasty stuff produced by the combustor is collected and goes to the plasma plant. Hang on a second, Brain. What's plasma? Whee! Plasma is a very hot gas made from electrically charged atoms. Like the sun. Very good, Pete. Huh, huh, eh? Or a welding arc. Exactly. So the plasma neutralises the nasties. Very good, Pete. So what happens to all this stuff? Good question. They all get recycled or put in the plasma plant to be made into loads of things. Glass blocks, ingots, tiles, acids, new mercury, new sulphur. Stop me when you want. Now, please. Thank you. Oh. OK. So, what do you think? Impressive, isn't it? Suppose, yeah. So, if this is so good, how come there aren't loads of plasma plants already? Well, there are, but they're in countries like America and Japan. 
This will be the first one here. Why is that? Because they are expensive to build. But it's the only way we can turn rubbish from a headache into an asset. And it's safe and clean and doesn't dump anything back into landfill, unlike other waste disposal plants. Brian? Yes, Pete? Now I've listened to you telling me how brilliant the energy park is, can you do something for me? Of course. Can you stop my mum giving me sprouts for my tea? <laughs> it's the least I can do. Fancy a game of footy when we get home? Oh, of course. You go and go. Mm.